Honey is so not vegan that we call each other maple syrup. So we're not going to talk about is honey vegan or healthy or humane. The short answer is no, it's not. Yeah. If you want to learn why it's not, you can look at Emily from Bite Size Vegan's very comprehensive but only five minute video. We're playing segments of it here. That's going to detail the incredible mistreatment, the rape, the torture, the abuse, the uh, mutilation and the death of bees. That's what the honey industry is all about. So you can watch all those details there. Now the honey uh, commercial beekeeping industry and the colony collapse disorder and all of these issues are very uh, complicated, intricate, detailed topics. We don't have time to go into any of those here. So basically, we humans need bees to pollinate crops so that we can eat food. Bees are essential to our survival. If we don't have enough bees that pollinate crops, we won't have enough food and then we'll die. However, there is something called a colony collapse disorder, which means bees are dying off really fast. And if this continues, that means we're gonna die because we won't have any food. So the whole idea of um, supporting commercial beekeeping is to make sure that they will continue producing bees and bees will continue to exist and pollinate our food. Now here's the thing, commercial beekeepers make money in two ways. One is by transporting all of the bees um, from you know, one part of the, the country, take the United States for example, to another part of the country at a specific time of year when say the almond crops need pollination and you have half of the United States total population of bees in California pollinating almond crops at that time. So the almond uh, orchards and the apple orchards or whatever uh, fruit orchard it is are paying the commercial beekeepers to transport the bees to them to pollinate their crops. So the commercial beekeepers are making money that way. However, they are double dipping when they then say, oh, we can also take the honey from the bees and sell it to humans so we can make two lots of profit. And the issue yeah. here is that honey is bee food. It is food for the bees. They need it just like we need food. Now, we're taking that honey away from them. We're stealing their honey, and it's quite cruel how we do that. And we are feeding them instead high fructose corn syrup, which is devoid of the vitamins and minerals that they need to maintain healthy immune systems. Which is one of the reasons why they're dying off, because they're not healthy. So the continuation of commercial beekeeping is not dependent on consumers buying honey. Commercial beekeeping will continue while consumers still want to buy almonds and blueberries and the other crops that honeybees pollinate. So there's no need to buy the honey. In honey to bees is the same thing as milk to a cow. So as vegans, of course, we're all against the dairy industry and taking what a mama cow produces for her baby calf, that's the same thing as honey. In fact, it's even more important to the bees because they also use honey not only for food for their babies and for themselves, but they use it to make their beehives. It's their home. They use it for many other reasons, not just as a food source. Now, we're definitely not saying that commercial beekeeping is the answer because the bees are incredibly intelligent. They've been on this planet for 20 million years. They know what to do. They are such intelligent creatures. They even do a little bee bum wiggle dance to communicate, what is it called? Vector calculus, yeah. the position and location of the food source. It's a bum wiggle dance with a calculator, all right? <laughs> they are smart little buggers. And they know how to pollinate food. They know where they need to go. They know what they need to do. We humans have come in and we have absolutely screwed everything up. We use pesticides that it poisons them. We have monocrops, we have animal agriculture, we have GMOs. All of these things that we have introduced has completely thrown out the balance of nature and how everything is supposed to work in harmony. And then we say, oh geez, we've screwed it all up. We're gonna have nothing to eat. We better go and farm bees and ship them around the country because we're gonna starve and die. In an ideal world, we would all eat seasonally and locally. Obviously we don't live in that ideal world. So that's why we have commercial beekeeping. Mm. However, again, to keep that industry afloat, does we do not need to buy honey as consumers. That is still going to remain in business by virtue of the fact that we want to buy almonds and peaches and blueberries and so on. Yeah, so I think 
um, if we just let the bees do their thing, they're going to pollinate the crops. The problem is when we want to produce like so many almonds, for example, that we have such a big crop that we can transport all around the world all year round, we obviously need more bees to do that kind of work. But if we just let the bees go and do their nature, uh, do their thing in nature, they're going to build their own little hives and work the way they need to work and pollinate. And whatever crops they pollinate, well, that's the food that we have. Implying that ideally we need to all eat seasonally and locally. And, and again, that's not. And that you know, no, if you live happen. in the Arctic Circle, you won't have access to almonds. But <laughs> yeah. that's not the world we've created. No, no. The point is that we don't need to eat to buy honey in order to support the commercial beekeeping industry. And we often hear from people that they have a you know backyard beekeeping and they order bees online and then they create their own little beehive thing and that's their contribution to helping the bees survival. No, you don't order a bee, an animal online. That's not the answer. Plant some flowers, plant some vegetables, the bees will come to you naturally. And that's how we're going to encourage the natural production of more bees and the survival of everything and everyone. And just on backyard or so-called ethical beekeeping, we hear people say that they are protecting the bees and they are caring for them. The only way we can protect and care for the bees is by providing them with healthy crops to pollinate. That's all they need. They can make their own hives. They don't need us for that. When they go off to pollinate crops, they don't need us to chaperone them. We're not protecting them in any way. So how exactly does a backyard hive protect and care for bees? We used to work on an organic farm. As soon as the crops started growing, the bees came. They built a giant hive in a tree and they pollinated the farm. We didn't have to build a hive for them. All we had to do was plant flowers and crops. That is how you help bees. And what makes the least amount of sense is that if someone has a backyard beehive under the guise of protecting and caring for the bees, then why do they also need to steal their honey? How does that action help the bees in any way? It doesn't. Stealing their honey benefits humans, but it does nothing for the bees. And as far as the idea goes that this is some kind of rent that the bees pay to the ethical carer, we always like to put ourselves as humans in the possession of the animal to work out if the action is okay and ethical. So if another species came to earth and treated us the way we treat bees, imagine this scenario. Even though you are more than capable of building your own home, you are kind of forced into living in an artificial home that someone else has built for you and your family. Your landlord knows that you work really, really hard and they decide that you have enough money and possessions for yourself, you have more than you need, and they can take a few things from you for themselves. Sometimes they smoke out your home to disarm your ability to defend yourself and the things you've worked for. Sometimes they just wait for you to go to work before entering your home. They come in and take no more than, say, 20% of your money and possessions that you've worked for. What's wrong with that? They left you with 80%, you have more than enough. They don't beat you up or stab you as they steal your things, so that makes how they help themselves to what you've worked hard for ethical, right? You probably won't even notice that one of your three TVs is gone. If you wouldn't like to be in this scenario, then you also shouldn't support or agree with backyard beekeeping. At the end of the day, if somebody wants to have a backyard beehive and claims to be doing this in the best interest of the bees, well, that's one thing, but there's absolutely no reason why they also need to steal the bees' honey. Keep the beehive without stealing any of the honey. Again, that only benefits the human. It does nothing to help the bees. We've heard the exact same justifications for backyard honey also used for eating backyard eggs but there is no difference between backyard honey or eggs or milk. They are not ours to take. This isn't about being a superior vegan or a level 10 vegan or the vegan police. It's just about being vegan. This is a mindset that understands that if it comes from an animal, leave it for the animal, irrespective of what that animal chooses to do with it or not. Thanks for watching guys. Time to hear from you. Leave your comments down below. Like, share and subscribe and remember until next time, going vegan is not the most we can do. It's the least we can do and we can leave the honey to the bees. See you next video. Bye guys. High fat and high protein works for me. So the whole it works for me. <laughs> <laughs>